Today, NVIDIA's next-gen mobile GPU is garbage, Ryzen X3D reviews date, NVIDIA is releasing three new monster GPUs, and AMD talks their RX 8000 GPUs. Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. First up for today, NVIDIA's next-gen notebook GPUs are finally beginning to release. And while some are pretty impressive, they aren't all like that. The story comes from a tweet by WCCF Texas Sun and IT Home, who recently shared graphs from the Chinese laptop maker MechRevo. And as you can see, they list performance in 3 d Mark's Time Spy and Firestrike for their RTX 4060 and 4070 notebooks. And while they don't give the actual numbers, they do compare to NVIDIA's last-gen models. And let's just say, it's pretty bad. For starters, we have the 4060, which is apparently 25% faster in Time Spy and 30% faster in Firestrike when compared to the 3060. And really quickly, as a side note, these graphs are terrible. The bar that shows 130% is shorter than the bar with 125%, plus they're both way longer than they should be, given the percentage. Of course, this is a marketing ploy to make it seem better than it is. So yeah, that aside, we next have the 4070, which according to this is a measly 15 percent faster than last gen in time spy and a terrible 11 percent faster in fire strike ouch baby very ouch Basically, some of NVIDIA's next-gen notebook chips are flat terrible. Now, I say some of because the first benchmarks we're seeing on the 4090 show that at least some of their next-gen cards are pretty impressive. But that's really what we've been seeing on the desktop side as well. I've been pointing out that it seems like the lower you get, the less impressive the GPU looks in terms of price compared to last gen, which is sad, especially given most gamers aren't looking at a 4090 or even 4080. The majority are going to be purchasing more mid to lower end cards, and in NVIDIA's laptops, those are looking pathetic, especially that 4070. Next up for today, it looks like we have the review date for AMD's upcoming Ryzen 7000 X3D parts. But before I get to that, don't miss out on the best offer from the place I trust to learn computer science. Brilliant! And sure, they sponsored today's video, but thanks to their best offer yet, you can try Brilliant yourself for 30 days absolutely free. Just visit brilliant.org slash gamermelt. Plus, there's a big reason I love talking about them, and that's because they don't just get you to read or listen to some lecture. They make you hop in and start doing it yourself. Whether that's training an AI how to do something, programming, or building a search engine, Brilliant teaches you with fun, interactive lessons. This means you learn by engaging with the concept to see how they work instead of just memorizing the answers. And they don't just have computer science, because Brilliant was built from the ground up to teach the STEM field. So what are you waiting for? Don't miss this great opportunity to try out Brilliant for free for 30 days at brilliant.org slash gamermelt. And the first 200 of you who sign up will get 20% off the annual premium. Once again, that's brilliant.org slash gamermelt. Now back to the story. We know that AMD's Ryzen 7900 and 7950X3D parts are set for release on the 28th of this month, but usually there's a review embargo that lifts a little before that. Well, according to a new tweet from known leaker Momomo underscore US, the X3D parts should get reviews on the 27th, so a day before release. Of course, these are set to be some of the fastest gaming CPUs ever, and while the pricing isn't that great, they aren't all that bad either. Luckily, you'll find out whether they're worth it or not before release, and I'll have affiliate links to those in the description for when they are released. They don't cost you anything more, and it helps the channel out. Next up, in a news story from Video Cards, one of their readers pointed out that Gigabyte has six GPUs that haven't been announced yet listed on their site. Specifically, there's six different RTX 4070s, three of which have different configurations. As you can see, there's 12 Gigabyte models, one with 10 Gigabytes, and one with 16. Of course, known leaker Cobite7Kimmy recently tweeted that there are three different SKUs for the 4070, but that they aren't very different. So I'm not sure if that's what we're seeing here, or what. But as video cards mentioned, the site also lists the cancelled 12GB 4080 model, so it may not be finalized products. But of course, the 12GB 4080 was cancelled later, while these cards have clearly been added recently. So maybe they just didn't remove the 12GB 4080. Regardless, it's clear that Nvidia is gearing up for a launch, and it'll be interesting to see Nvidia launch their 4070 as multiple models. Time, as always, will tell. 
And lastly for today, we have some official news on AMD's next-gen RX 8000 GPUs. The story comes from an interview with AMD's senior VP of their Radeon division, David Wang, and VP of Computing and Graphics Business, Rick Bergman, at the Japanese site 4Gamers. And starting things off, they discussed how AMD is developing a drawing pipeline that doesn't require the CPU. That way you can remove data transmission from system memory to GPU memory, as well as get rid of draw commands from the CPU. So it would be self-contained. Apparently, it could be something similar to the multi-draw indirect accelerator that they launched with RDNA 3. AMD is planning to advocate to make this a new standard. And according to the article, this is something that could be coming to next-gen GPUs, which is definitely an interesting change and should speed up GPUs by quite a bit. Next, we get into the really interesting part of the article, where they discuss the use of using AI accelerators in gaming. For starters, Mr. Wang pushed back against NVIDIA using AI cores primarily for their DL. LSS tech, pointing out that FSR has the same performance and quality without using AI accelerators. Of course, with the upcoming FSR 3.0 bringing frame generation, this could change. Either way, he claims that NVIDIA uses AI to do things that they don't need to, claiming that AMD isn't planning to use that same strategy. According to Wang, AMD is hoping to use these accelerators to make games, quote, more advanced and fun. When asked to give some specifics, he gave an example of making NPCs smarter, like making the movement and behavior of enemy characters better. Of course, the issue with this is that you'd have to have a GPU with AI accelerators to play the game, so making games require those is tough for now. Or maybe they could do something like fall back on a different AI if you don't have those accelerated cores. But then that leads to problems where the game is very different depending on your GPU. At the end of the day, as Tech Power Up puts it, AMD's next-gen GPU will maintain a focus on gaming performance and not following NVIDIA into an AI feature set competition. Finally, they did make a claim that RDNA 4 will in fact bring higher performance in the near future. And while that isn't exactly all that surprising, of course it is going to be next gen so it should be faster, given they're claiming near future these could be released even sooner than we thought. So while that does it for today, are you pumped for Andy's next-gen GPUs? Or are you just ready for the 4070? Let me know down in the comments below. And don't forget to try out Brilliant's new free trial when you visit brilliant.org slash And as always, have a great day!